In this video, I'll show you how to remove a user from a power platform environment. Now, just to give an example, like I have this World Airlines Management System model driven app. This is shared with multiple users. So like if you want to share this, you can either send out an email link, copy link, or there are other options to share this particular model driven app. Now, I've already shared with multiple users and maybe one of the user has uh, will be soon leaving the organization uh, or maybe the user might have already left. Now, how do we remove that users from the Power Platform environment? Now, let's do one thing. First, go into the Power Platform Admin Center. So let's see uh, how many users are part of this particular environment. Now, this particular model-driven app is hosted in one of the environments within my tenant. So if I navigate to Power Platform Admin Center, I'll be presented with a list of environments. So if I go to Manage, go to Environments, and these are the list of environments. Let me go into one of the environments, so Giresh Dev. So if I go inside this environment, I have an option to see the users. So if I click on Users, I will be able to see the list of users within uh, my environment. Now, as you see, there are so many users, Adele, Alex, Diego, uh, Grady, Johanna, Johnny, Lee, and there are so many users. So let's pick up one user. Let's say uh, we'll pick up Pradeep Gupta. Okay. And so let's assume Pradeep Gupta is uh, going out, and then I want to remove Pradeep Gupta from uh, my uh, environment so that Pradeep Gupta no longer has access. Now, if I select Pradeep Gupta over here, and if you see over here, there is uh, no direct way through which you can remove the user, right? So if we click on Pradeep Gupta, I, I can see all the information related to Pradeep Gupta. Now, if I click on three dots over here, you get an option, go to manage users in Dynamics 365. Let's go into manage users in Dynamics 365. And I will be able to see the information about Pradeep, right? So uh, I can uh, save the record, I can approve the email, I can connect the mailbox and all those things, right? Now, let me delete Pradeep Gupta from here, delete. So it says, do you want to delete this user? You can't undo, but you can request an admin attempt to recover the user if needed. So I'll just delete the user. It says the user with the user ID is not disabled. Disable user before deletion. So you cannot directly delete a user from a Power Platform environment. Now, if I want this delete to succeed, how do I do that? Okay, so I'm still in Power Platform environment. I've not gone into any other system. I just navigated to that specific user and tried removing the user. There is no direct way to remove user. I need to go into the older interface and go into uh, Dynamics 365, and then I navigated to the screen. I'm not able to delete. Now, if you want to delete, there are a couple of steps. Let's go into, uh, say, M365 Admin Center. Now, if I go into M365 Admin Center, let's find that user. So I go to Active Users, and the username is Pradeep Gupta. So over here. So if you see here, Pradeep Gupta, I'll just click on Pradeep Gupta. And I can see all this information. Now, I can block the sign-in of that user, but what I'll do is like I'll delete the user. It says, okay, after you delete this user, you will be able to restore their accounts and the data up to 30 days. I'll say, no, I don't want all this thing to happen. Just click on delete user. So what it does, it will do an unlicensing of the user, deleting the user record, all licenses unassigned, Microsoft E5 developer user account deleted, close. Okay, now the user is deleted from the M365 admin center. So you cannot see that user over here, right? If you go into the Power Platform, okay, let me go into the Power Platform. Now here, uh, Power Platform Admin Center, in the environment against a user, under filter, I will see, if I click on disabled users over here, okay, I can see only one user. I've already deleted that user, but I cannot see that users over here, right? That Pradeep Gupta. So if I click on all users, I can see Pradeep Gupta's name over here as well, right? Now, Let's say users with no assigned security role, user not in enter ID, but exist in the environment. Let's see. Nope, there's no one. Nope, I don't see that. 
Now we have deleted this user, but this still this user still exists. Now again, if I go to Pradeep Gupta and maybe just refresh it because we have already deleted now in M365 Admin Center. Uh, let's try and uh, uh, deleting this record. Now if I click on delete this user, do you want to delete this user? Yes, click on delete. And now again, it says user with system ID is not disabled, disable user before deletion. Now we have already deleted in M365 Admin Center. So what's happening? For that, what you need to do is go to Azure portal. So go to portal.azure.com, which is your current active directory. Entra ID. So if I go into the Entra ID and I select that user Pradeep Gupta, and then I'll try to see what's happening with that user. So I'll click over here, go to Entra ID or Glow from here, Microsoft Entra ID. And under users, I will see list of users. And one of the user would be so if you see over here, it is showing you the list of users. And I don't see Pradeep Gupta over here, right? If I go to deleted users, I will see the name Pradeep Gupta because we have just deleted that user, right? Now, what you need to do, it says users are permanently deleted automatically 30 days after they are deleted. Now you have to wait for 30 days and then after that you will be able to uh, delete that user. Now I'll click on user. I'll say I'm in a hurry. Delete the user permanently. All data for this user will be irrevocably deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? I'll say OK. And says user successfully permanently deleted. Pradeep Gupta has been permanently deleted. Now let's go into the Power Platform Admin Center over here. I can still see Pradeep Gupta. Let me click on refresh. Let me click on refresh or maybe I'll just reload the page. Now I've already deleted Pradeep Gupta from M365 Admin Center, even from Azure portal. Uh, I can see Pradeep Gupta over here. Now you have an option, you can refresh the user. Okay. And once you refresh the user, that synchronization can happen. Or maybe let's go into our same scenario, like you're going into the Dynamics 365 user management system, and we attempted deleting the user. Okay. Now if I click on delete, do you want to delete this user? You can't undo. I'll say click on delete. It says disable user before deletion. So the synchronization has not happened, right? So if I go over here, then I'll click on refresh user. So what it will do, it will start importing the information from Azure Active Directory. And then it will say refresh user field. It says user with object ID does not exist. OK, now if I go to filter, click on disabled users, I can see Pradeep Gupta's name over here. Now, if you see this Pradeep Gupta's name, this was not there earlier and we cannot refresh the user information. OK, now let's go into Pradeep Gupta. Come over here, manage users in Dynamics 365. Now it says read only. This record status is inactive. Earlier it was not there, but now it has completely synchronized. Okay. Click on delete. And now that user has been deleted. Now you have an option to delete that user permanently as well from here. This option was not visible earlier, but now you can delete that user. So I know it is a multi-step process, but uh, it is under it is important to understand that Power Platform users does not get removed easily. You need to go to that multi-step process if you are going user by user. However, there are multiple ways through which you can automate this entire process. So you can write a Power Automate flow. Uh, there are a whole bunch of PowerShell scripts which you can run through which you can remove the users permanently from your system. Now, why do you want to remove the user? Because over a period of time, the user table within your organization might grow uh, to a great length. Like think about it, like you will see a whole bunch of list over here. OK, I have a very limited 15, 20 users, but in your organization, there might be 10,000 users. OK, and you may it will be very difficult to track which users currently are active, which users are currently uh, using the system. So for that, this one, this exercise, I just want to show you the entire step so that you know what happens when a user gets 
either imported into the Power Platform environment or if the user gets removed or disabled from your Azure Active Directory. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching.